hello all let's continue our uh, uh, tutorial series uh, in uh, my research article uh, the uh, the dynamic impact factor assessment so yeah uh, in the last part we had come to the part uh, section where uh, come to the sections uh, area where we assigned the material properties using sections now we'll move on to the creation of assembly we'll first uh, create a clean slate a brand new model i will just show you again now with this uh, i'll run the script which we had created previously now you can see there are five parts and five materials and five sections we'll move on to the assembly and in the assembly uh, we will directly move this five created parts like this and maybe uh, we don't want uh, a sleeper and rail part right now because we just want to run a preliminary analysis uh, with whatever uh, uh, materials we have got so we, i am going to run a minimalistic minimalistic analysis uh, so that you can have a view and i'm just going to click on okay because this uh, parts were created uh, using points uh, which are pretty much uh, uh, what i would say uh, are uh, uh, pre determined so this points in this sketches are very pre determined you can see that the last uh, sketch is starting from 0, 0,0 and uh, then sub last sketch is again starting from 0, 0,0 so they coincide then the subgrade sketch is starting from 0, minus 1 where this uh, sub uh, blast sketch is ending so that way you can see that uh, we are moving this part on top of each other automatically so we don't need to do anything now <coughs> we haven't uh, recorded the uh, macro this time but what we can do is that we can have another uh, uh, trick in our sleeve that you can just uh, use this r python file record python file that's what i guess it says uh, in this uh, you can just copy out this lines which are used here so these are the uh, lines after new model database creation i'm just going to copy all of them and uh, <coughs> paste them here <coughs> so session lines automatically and executable python file is are not required so these lines i am going to remove again the session objects uh lines are not required because we don't want any session uh, related thing now this line is basically redundant because it has been done previously uh, yeah so these are the lines which are useful we define an assembly as a which is assembly root assembly of the model then we define the cartesian system which is default cartesian system then we create a part <coughs> p and we move the part as an instance of the assembly a a dot instance so we can uh, create a loop basically a similar loop which we have done previously i am going to copy this line and paste it here and i am going to put a shift tab oh sorry tab to these two lines so that uh, we can create our loop now this basic uh, 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 thing like part creation is uh, i'm going to copy this line again i'm just going to copy this and paste it here and uh, here the name of the instance uh, is dependent on the name of the part and we have to include dash 1 so i'm just going to remove this part and i am going to call the name of the part so p dot name will do the job and you might ask how do i know because in python you can play around with strings so i am going to just show you this small quotes quotes snippet you can see uh, in the bottom of your abacus uh, <coughs> uh, uh, gui there are two uh, no notification or, or two icons one is message area and one is command area so command line interface or kernel kernel uh, command line interface what you want to call it you can just write down your command so i am going to write down mdb which is model database dot model and i am going to call our model model 1 
instead of just doing all that we can just copy this because uh, there might be some mistakes of uh, uh, quotation marks or uh, brackets so i don't want to commit those so mdb.model dot part so parts and using part we'll go for blt part so this is our uh, mdb you can uh, push the up arrow and you can re uh, see the command which we have done in, uh, previously so i'm going to call p equal to mdb.model database here yeah so you can see that's what i have uh, done here now i want to know the name of the p so p dot name is blt part i'm going to check the type of p dot name and here we can see that the p dot name is a type of string so we can simply provide a plus operation with p dot name and dash one that will do the job and you can create as many a part as possible here now i am going to comment out these four lines and uh, i have reduced my code uh, from six lines to just three lines and i am going to save this and i am again going to go for a clean slate so go to new model with a standard explicit i am not going to save anything now with the clean slate i am going to run the script which i have just saved or let me just check out if i have saved yeah it's a uh, blue so that means it has been saved now we also see the application of using rpy file although rpy files record a lot of things so if you reload them or uh, uh, just cancel them out and again see uh, there might be uh, like the size changes and other stuff which are going on constantly so you can go again and check out whatever activity you are doing here is automatically getting recorded so here you can see the command line interface whatever we have done is also recorded in this rpy file so you have to be uh, pretty meticulous uh, generally i uh, prefer working with macros but in case you are doing a very long operation and you forgot to record you can always go to rpy file if you don't feel like doing anything or feeling lazy so this is our file it is, it is saved now we can just run this and see our assembly yeah here you can see this assembly has been created but you can see uh, we inadvertently or uh, unrequiringly moved created our sleeper and rail part as well and yeah uh, the problem with this uh, type of uh, uh, code is that uh, it runs on complete part matrix the part matrix has five part blast sub blast subgrade sleeper and rail so yeah uh, it's uh, uh, actually 10 lines of code which we reduced to three lines but again we don't want uh, uh, this uh, uh, sleeper and rail so what we can do is that from length minus length part minus two we can just create first three part because this uh, list is uh, uh, sorted so first three will come because we are subtracting the last two so minus two now we are going to save this again and we are going to go with a clean slate now run the script again yeah so you can see now the rail and the sleeper are not visible in this assembly so that's how we can create our assembly yeah so this tutorial will be pretty short i am going to just uh, create an assembly like in python and uh, uh, i will meet you in the next tutorial thank you